Sankhya Prakash and Jeremy, Krishna Nath was able to line up Prabhupada's uh, trip to the Soviet Union in 1971. And Prabhupada, on his one first trip a few days, he initiated a devotee, a Russian devotee, who was called Ivana, and the Vananda Shanti. He trained him up in all aspects of Krishna consciousness in three days, cooking, other ways, devotees, etc. And that devotee started preaching after Prabhupada's departure, and today Prabhupada's vision for the country has come through. Prabhupada at one time had risen. He wants to have a Sankhya party in that country. Today there are some Sankhya parties which we never even just been able to do. And Prabhupada wanted a major, Prabhupada wanted a major temple in Moscow. Today, after a long struggle of nearly 10 years, finally, two weeks ago, the government signed the paper giving us the money. <laughs> Over time we have seen that everything the prophet is by because of the pure devotee, it has gradually come to power. Prabhupada was humble, always. Once somebody asked him in India, Swami Ji, can you do some magic? Because there's a certain expectation in India that if you're a saintly person, you also have to be a musician. The Prabhupada said, No, I can't do any magic. And the person said, But what magic I have done? So the person was very curious. What magic is Prabhupada done? And his response was, I've converted thousands of lectures into Brahmanas. 